What's going on guys? Okay, in this video, I'm gonna share the exact strategy for you to use to get started with email marketing in 2023 if you're starting completely from scratch. Um, and I have videos that go into detail on these big item, the big topics that I'm gonna cover. I've got videos that go into the step-by-step -step details of how to do it all in my channel. So just go back and, and look, for the ch uh, look for videos related to these topics. But really, I'm gonna break it down into three main things that you need to do to get started. So this is going to apply to your business no matter how big or small your business is or anything. Um, this is just assuming you haven't really done anything with email marketing yet and you're looking to get started. So the first place you would start is what I call sales process optimization, which really just means looking at your sales process, breaking down the step-by-step -step process that someone follows to go from not knowing who you are to being a paying customer. So if you're an e-commerce business, that's gonna be you know someone you're generating traffic somehow and people go to the site and they go to the product page and they add it to cart, they complete the checkout. Um, that that whole process is very straightforward. If you are a service business, maybe someone has to do a call first. Maybe there's some sort of presentation um, or some you know some documents sent back and forth in your sales process. Um, maybe you're an influencer and you get people to opt into a webinar or some sort of sales training or some sort of uh, online training thing, and then you get them into the service or some sort of coaching package or whatever. Uh, you know whatever it is, you want to look at you can you want to break down the step-by-step -step process and then you want to see where you can add email automation or even SMS as well where you can add automation to create more follow-up in your sales process that's automated and so that's the first place to start with email marketing because for one these automations they're just gonna run 24 7 for you around the clock so you put in the work to create them now and they'll continue to work for you going forward the other thing is you're just gonna get better results from what you're already doing so you're gonna get more sales from your existing traffic, your existing lead flow, um, even maybe repeat sales from your existing customers. So it's going to take what you're doing now and help you get better results with what you're already doing. And it doesn't really take a whole lot of extra effort to get this going. And again, now it's just set up and it's working around the clock for you 24 seven. So once you've got that in place, then the next thing that I would prioritize is your lead generation strategy. So how you're going to get people uh, onto your list. Obviously, if you have traffic coming to your site right now, you can set up pop ups, you can set up forms. But the main thing is, well, really you need two things. You need one, some sort of offer that gets them to opt in. Okay, so just promising people, you know, uh, newsletter updates and exclusive access to your email list, like no, no one cares about that. So you got to offer something. It could be a discount. It could be a free trial of your SaaS. Um, it could be, you could maybe have a quiz that helps them learn something and get better use out of your products. Um, it could be that they are opting in to do a sales call again. So you get them to opt in that way because they've signed up to get, uh, you know, email alerts about or reminders about that call. Whatever it is, you gotta have something that gets them to opt in. And then the other pieces, you gotta have traffic. So again, this is pretty easy to get going with on your main site. And assuming you already have traffic coming to your site, you can add some forms, add a pop-up, and that will help you uh, generate more leads. But then also, I would look at what are your main traffic sources, whether it's social media, YouTube, whatever, and then look at how can you start to prioritize lead generation directly there. So if you're doing, let's say you've got a bunch of TikTok videos and you're doing really well, then do you have it set up to where it's very easy for people to see one of your videos go to your profile and then opt in and do you have the enticing offer to get them to opt in is it is it obvious and upfront whenever they go click on the link in your profile so you want to start looking at that like how quickly and how easily can you make it for people to go from just consuming your content or whatever they're doing where they initially are see you um, as part of your overall you know brand awareness traffic strategy and what's the easiest way you can get them onto your email list because then you're going to be able to market to them a lot more effectively um, and it Again, you're going to be able to grow your email list and it just amplifies everything else you're doing with your email strategy. <clears throat> and then the third thing, so you've got your sales process optimized, you've prioritized lead generation, so you've got better lead flow of people coming onto your list. Now you want to start planning a monthly campaign calendar and start sending out at least one email a week for the entire year. So I find it's easy to first look at um, the big sales that you're going to do. So probably going to have a you know Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale next November 
November, um, and then you might, you know, you might be doing like a quarterly sale along some of the major holidays or something like that. So first, just look at it. If you're going to be doing any big discount type of sales, trying to space those out so you're not doing them back to back too often. Uh, every brand's different. Some brands are very trigger happy when it comes to offering those kind of sales. I generally recommend not going too crazy with that because then you train people to never buy the normal price. Um, but yeah, so that's the first place you can start. It's just looking at the year, the big promotions, um, and having a general idea of when those are going to be, a general idea of what the offers are going to be. But then you don't need to plan out the entire year in advance. I, I think it's, you know, it makes sense to just do a monthly campaign calendar. So if you plan out the big picture for the year, the big promos, whether they're quarterly or whatever, and then plan out January. And if it's already January when you're watching this, then plan out the rest of January and start planning out February. Um, and just getting into that habit of planning those out and having to come up with ideas, which again, I have videos on that here in my channel, um, that's going to make it a lot easier to start creating momentum and then be able to have a lot more success with your email marketing because you've got to start emailing them on a regular basis or your list will go cold and they're not going to buy anything. And in fact, they're not even going to open or click your emails at all uh, if it's a if they forget who you are and it's just uh, they're not used to getting emails from you you want to get used to that usual steady cadence of communication with them so that way again they're just uh, familiar with you and your brand and they're used to getting those emails and that's going to keep the list warm and that's going to make it a lot easier to generate sales on an ongoing basis so just a review if you, again if you're starting from scratch first thing to do optimize your sales process as much as possible try to get as use as much automation as possible it's just going to save you a lot of time and energy it's going to make you way more efficient and you're going to get way more sales from everything you're already doing, meaning that a better ROI on the time, money, effort, energy that you put into your top of funnel traffic, which is usually where we're putting the most time, money, and energy when it comes to our marketing. Second from there, from that is to prioritize your lead generation strategy. Make sure you have a good offer and you have some steady traffic sources uh, with that offer to get people to opt in because that's going to get people, that's going to start feeding people into that sales process that you've then optimized. Um, and then also once they you know get through that, if they don't buy, then they'll at least be on your list to where you can do your regular email marketing. And that's where the third thing comes in, uh, planning out your monthly campaign calendars, getting used to planning these emails on it out in advance, getting used to actually having a real strategy and not just, you know, making something up on the fly whenever you randomly think about sending an email out um, and then just move forward and execute. And it just, you know, don't put too much pressure on any one email to be the thing that makes or breaks your business. Because if you know that you're going to be contacting them on a steady basis, it's okay if one email flops because you have, it's just a test. You learned what didn't work and you can apply that going forward. And again, the more consistent you are with this, the warmer your list will be and the better results you're going to get. So I hope that's helpful. I've got a ton of resources on my channel to help you do all of those things I just talked about. So please feel free to use them. Um, and it, yeah, if you're just getting started, then good luck and I hope you have a great year.